Hello and welcome. I'm Shivali. Welcome to salvatespace.com. Five facts you didn't know about e-waste recycling. With electronic recycling, also called e-waste recycling, turning out to be progressively urgent to the fate of the planet, recuperating cell telephones and recycling old PCs, TVs, printers and other electronic products ought to be a need for those that need to enhance their ecological footprint. When considering the significance of e-waste recycling, it merits recalling some of these more irregular electronic recycling shoots from around the globe, which delineate the continuous requirement for everybody to try to moderate and legitimately reuse their electronic things. Cellular phones. What's on your mobile phone? Just 20% of cellular telephones are reused every year, which is stunning when you consider that more than a billion phones are sold consistently and that individuals have a tendency to replace their telephone at regular intervals. Cellular phones are not just important regarding the valuable metals they contain, which incorporate gold and silver, yet through their resale and recycling quality. Poisonous waste Every year, 125 million kilograms of e-waste winds up in landfills of Canada. Out of that, 4.3 million kilograms is lead, a toxic material. Once more, the ecological harm created by electronic waste comes down to the high volume of valuable materials that, when discharged from their segment parts, can saturate the earth and the environment. The same issues are made by plasma TVs and LCD screens that are unnecessarily dumped. PC waste. Just 2% of old PCs are at present being remade, which is an unusual reality when you consider how direct it can be to put an old PC to utilize instead of essentially discarding it. A PC can be sold to another purchaser or stripped down for its parts, like other electronic products the recycling estimation of a PC to a great extent descends to its plastic and metal segments and to the valuable metals that make up its hardware. Auto batteries. A many great people don't understand that auto batteries contain 60 to 80 percent recyclable materials and speak to substantially more than something that can be discarded. At the point when reused, auto batteries are squashed down and isolated into their plastic parts, which can be cleaned and utilized as a part of new forms. The lead from batteries can correspondingly be decontaminated, while the corrosive contained inside of batteries can be killed by water and salt. Halton inhabitants can drop off auto batteries for recycling at the household hazardous waste depot at the Halton Waste Management site. Guiyu, China. China is viewed as one of the most exceedingly bad dumping justification for e-waste. And the town of Guiyu, which is the focal point of dumping and rescuing. An astounding 1.5 million tons of e-waste goes through this Chinese town consistently, with 60,000 individuals assessed to work on stripping down circuit sheets and dissolving down parts. Surprisingly more terrible. The majority of the e-waste that winds up in Guyu is not reused but rather mainly searched or liquefied. For more educational videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be happy to see you as a registered user with www.salvatespace.com. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be meeting you again in the next video.